Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and in this video, I will show how to make morphing animation. First one, let's select these background layers and lock. Then select these red. Okay, this is main card layer. So let's go to layer, new and new object and hold control, double click pen behind icon for move to anchor point center and go to align. If you not see this align part, go to window and enable here align. So let's click this align icon and here for move to object to center and click tool. Also let's enable title action save and let's select this red layer link to null object and select these other layers also link to null object and select this null let's press p and move to down make new parts in keyframe and go to 10 keyframes let's move to up and go to 10 keyframes again we have two way for go to 10 keyframes first way hold she press page down in keyboard or next way click here time duration and write plus 10 for go to 10 keyframes click ok and move to down again go to 10 keyframes move to up and again move to down and again move to up and again let's click here for move to down so we have more keyframes for bones animation select all keyframes and make easy or click f9 let's see Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's select this null and let's hold shift press S, open scale, click this icon and let's change scale like this and make scale keyframe. Let's go to next 10 keyframes and change scale 110. Go to 10 keyframes again, change 95. Again, go to 10 keyframes, change 100. Select all scale keyframes, make again easy. Let's see. Okay, select these scale keyframes, move to right a little bit. Very nice. So, let's hold shift, press air, open rotation, make rotate keyframe, chain rotation minus 25, and go to next keyframe, change 10. Next keyframe again, change minus 5 again go to 10 keyframes change to that 5 and again change minus 1 and again change 0 say keyframes make easy let's say again okay that's good so in this time go to here and let's select this new object make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframes Let's move to down a little bit, go to 10 keyframes again, and move to up, let's see. Okay, let's move to up a little bit, go to again 10 keyframes, move to down, and again move to center again this button. So let's see. Okay, this is for morphing movements. So in this time, let's select this red layer and open inside contents and rectangle one and open here rectangle path one and let's see timing. Okay, so in this time, let's make size keyframe and click this icon and roughness keyframe. Let's go to 10 keyframes or let's go to more keyframes and change roughness like this and change size for box okay say so frames make easy let's see okay go to graph editor and select these graphs let's make smooth graph and these graphs move to left okay back to two frames and select last two frames move to right Okay, so in this time, let's select this yellow layer, again open inside, contents, and rectangle. 
and let's do timing okay in this time let's open a rectangle path one make size keyframe and also click this icon and go to some keyframes change size like this and like this select keyframes make easies let's see okay let's move to right this last keyframe go to graph editor and select this graph move to right okay so let's back to keyframes and first let's select first keyframe change size like this okay nice and select this yellow let's press u for c keyframes and hold she press p make new pass in keyframe and go to next keyframe moved up let's change more scale okay that's good and select pass in keyframes make easy go to graph editor and make graph smooth okay back to keyframes select these keyframes move to left for more fast animation okay that's good so let's close settings let's select these purples and hide layers select purple 2 and open inside or let's select this purple go to here and search size and let's close and open size here and let's see okay make new size keyframe and go to here change size like this okay and go to here select this purple let's press u for c only active keyframes and hold shift press p let's make new passing keyframe and go to next keyframe let's move to right and move to up let's click this icon for move to center and change size like this move to down a little bit okay let's see nice select keyframes make easy and let's select keyframes to move to left okay go to graph editor select these graphs let's make graphs like this okay that's good and back to keyframes close settings select this purple 3 let's enable and here let's select this purple 3 go to search and search here size make new size keyframe and go to here and change size like this and go to back let's press u and hold shift press p make new passing keyframe go to next keyframe and let's move it up and let's try change size like this let's move to down a little bit and change size like this okay so we can change this size a little bit scale like this and say keyframes let's make easy and go to graph editor let's make graph smooth and this okay back to keyframes okay so let's go to here select this and move to down like this and move to right this keyframe and select these two keyframes or four keyframes move to left for morphing okay that's good 
So let's close settings and say it is purple for let's enable. Okay, so let's select this purple three and press P. Let's move the up and select person Q frame, put here and this let's press P. Move the up and put here this person Q frame. Okay. So in this time, select this purple four and purple one. Let's enable. And let's press P, make new person Q frame, and go to here. Let's move to up, and this move to up. And select Q frames, make easies. Okay, and select this purple. Let's open inside, go to contents, rectangle one, and select this rectangle pet one. Let's right mouse and convert to bezel pet. Okay, so let's open pet one, select pet here, and in this time, let's make new pet keyframe and move to back, and in this time, let's change pets like this, and go to convert vertex tool for make smooth like this and back to the game pen tool okay go to again vertex tool make this smooth okay let's see Nice. So, classification tool and select this purple one. Let's open inside contents and rectangle one. Open rectangle pet one and let's right mouse and convert to bezel pet. Select pet and make new pet keyframe. Go to here. Let's again go to pen tool and select pet here change points like this hold this icon and select vertex tool and let's make smooth lines back to again pen tool and again convert vertex tool make this smooth and this make smooth Okay, not bad. So guys, in this time, let's click station tool and let's change colors. Let's go to here and in this time, what's the timing? Okay, nice. Select is purple four and one, press U and make two frames easy and select two frames move to left and move to left a little bit for random two frames okay not bad So select this purple four and one, go to here and search here color and make fill color for one and four purple. Let's go to here and in this time change color to red or pink. Let's try red. Okay, let's copy color code and here let's click here control V click OK 
Okay, so the keyframes make easy. Nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.